joint cell arteritis which is also called as the temporal arteritis so what is the joint cell arteritis it is the most common form of systemic vasculitis in adults if you recall what is the most common systemic vasculitis in the children iga vasculitis is the most common systemic vasculitis in children the joint cell arteritis is the most common systemic vasculitis in the adults this is an mcq question so remember that it is the most common systemic vasculitis in adults mcq question most common systemic vasculitis in adults is the joint cell arteritis or we can say temporal arteritis now what type of inflammation it is what type of vasculitis it is it is an acute inflammation chronic inflammation or granulomatous inflammation we need to say that it is often often granulomatous inflammation granulomatous inflammation it is often granulomatous inflammation mcq point it may be acute inflammation sometimes it may be a chronic inflammation but more often we will see the granulomatous inflammation of the vessel wall which means especially affecting the arteries of the large to medium size arteries of large to medium size right granulomatous inflammation of the large to medium sized arteries arteries are involved in the joint cell arteritis so what is the mean age of the disease some authors say that it is more commonly seen in greater than uh, 55 years of age but if they ask uh, in the exam what is the mean age of the disease then your answer should be 76 years is considered to be the mean age of the disease another mcq point mean age of the disease presentation is 76 years okay now what are the arteries which are involved we know that the arteries of the large to medium sized arteries are involved but which arteries the joint cell arteritis affects primarily the arteries in the head especially the temporal arteries so the most common arteries which are affected are temporal arteries temporal arteries and these temporal arteries are the extracranial branches of the or extracranial branch of the carotid artery so the most common artery is the temporal artery mcq point most common artery to be involved in joint cell arteritis so what are the other arteries which can be like so what are the other arteries which are involved in joint cell arteritis it may be vertebral arteries or it may be ophthalmic arteries vertebral or ophthalmic arteries in most severe cases the blindness is seen because of the involvement of the ophthalmic arteries over here now when we discuss about the pathology of the vessel wall in joint cell arteritis one can clearly see that there is a segmental involvement of the vessel wall not entire vessel wall is affected over here but you can see involvement in certain segments so that's the reason we will say that segmental involvement of the vessel wall pathology if you see the pathology histopathology segmental segmental involvement mcq question segmental involvement of the vessel wall right so this affected segment of the vessel wall shows nodular thickening with narrowing of the lumen so nodular thickening mcq question nodular thickening segmental involvement of the vessel wall leads to narrowing of the lumen now 
when we are talking about the type of inflammation over here which is granulomatous inflammation in temporal arteriitis so this granulomatous inflammation of the vessel wall is associated with the presence of a foreign body and langerhans type of multinucleated joint cell so what we will see in the granulomatous inflammation of the temporal arteriitis one can find this is the box specifically for mcqs right so joint cells joint cells right so one can find the multinucleated joint cells as well as fragmentation of internal elastic lamina joint cells in the vessel wall as well as fragmentation of internal elastic lamina mcq question two important mcq questions we wrote over here joint cells which are seen in the affected vessel wall because it is the granulomatous inflammation of the vessel wall and we can also see the fragmentation of internal elastic lamina so what are the histopathological findings of temporal arteriitis the histopathological findings are segmental involvement of the affected artery right associated with the nodular thickening which leads to narrowing of the lumen and the inflammation is granulomatous inflammation associated with the presence of multinucleated joint cells in the vessel wall and one can find fragmentation of internal elastic lamina these are the histopathological findings specific for this temporal arteriitis now what are the most common symptoms let me extend this box here what are the most common symptoms let me separate this one so let us write 1 uh, 2 3 4 like most common symptoms the most common symptoms are non specific constitutional symptoms or fever fatigue anorexia weight loss so what are the most common symptoms fever fatigue anorexia weight loss these are the most common symptoms but in the exam if they ask you about what is the most common vasculitis related symptom of temporal arteriitis this is how the examiner will try to uh, like uh, make the question more tricky what is the most common vasculitis related symptom so your answer should be headache headache that is also temporal headache headache temporal headache is the most common vasculitis related symptom most common vasculitis related vasculitis related symptom most common vasculitis related symptom is the headache mcq question guys right in general what are the most common symptoms fever fatigue anorexia weight loss what is the most common vasculitis related symptom headache what type temporal headache and what is the most specific symptom they will ask they don't ask about uh, vasculitis related symptom you have to be very careful with the language of the question over here what is the most specific symptom of temporal arteriitis your answer should be jaw claudication is the most specific symptom if they ask about it, what is the most common vasculitis related symptom then you have to go with headache if they ask about the most specific symptom in joint cell arteriitis then your answer should be jaw claudication over here so jaw claudication jaw claudication mcq question jaw claudication is the most specific symptom you have to concentrate on the language which i speak most specific symptom of joint cell arteriitis 
is the jaw claudication right other symptoms may be visual symptoms in terms of uh, diplopia sudden blindness arthritis polymyalgia rheumatica all this can be seen but less than 20 percent of the cases in most severe cases or we can say what is the most serious complication of gca that is jain cell arteriate sometimes the examiner will ask you the question what is the most serious complication of gca because of the involvement of the ophthalmic artery remember that blindness blindness right so most severe complication most severe complication of gca joint cell arteriitis is blindness because of the involvement of ophthalmic artery see the mcq points here guys what is the most severe complication right most severe complication of gca is the blindness because of the involvement of ophthalmic artery that is mainly the branches of the ophthalmic artery over here now what about the blood investigations the blood investigation shows raised esr and normocytic normochromic anemia and Again, let us talk about two important MCQs before we conclude this topic. What is the treatment of choice in temporal arteriitis and what is the gold standard for the diagnosis of temporal arteriitis? So, more commonly, you can see these two questions also more often we will see in the exam. So, gold standard for diagnosis. Gold standard for diagnosis of GCA gold standard for the diagnosis of GCA is biopsy MCQ question gold standard for the diagnosis of GCA is biopsy and what is the treatment of choice in GCA corticosteroids are the drug of choice for or drugs of choice for GCA so let me write the last MCQ point here all these are like mcq boxes what it is treatment of choice treatment of choice corticosteroids 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 are the treatment of choice in giant cell arteriitis so if you take a quick summary over here the joint cell arteriitis is also called as a temporal arteriitis. It is the most common systemic vasculitis in adults. More often, it is a granulomatous inflammation affecting the arteries of large to medium sized vessels. And uh, the mean age is 76 years of age. The most common arteries which are involved are the temporal arteries, right? And temporal arteries are the extracranial branch of the carotid artery. Other arteries are vertebral as well as ophthalmic arteries, right? So, because of the involvement of the ophthalmic artery in the most severe cases, it leads to blindness. There's a reason the most severe complication of the GCA is the blindness because of the involvement of the ophthalmic artery and its branches, right? And if you talk about the histopathology of the temporal arteriitis, remember that there is a segmental involvement of the vessel wall associated with the nodular thickening and there will be a narrowing of the lumen, right? And also one can find the multinucleated Langerhans Jain cells in the vessel wall and also we can see the fragmentation of the internal elastic lamina. And when we talk about the symptoms, what are the most common symptoms are fever, fatigue, anorexia as well as weight loss. If the specifically ask about the most common vasculitis related symptom will be the headache that is temporal headache. Jaw claudication is considered to be the most specific symptom in giant cell arteriitis. And when we talk about the gold standard diagnosis for the GCA is the biopsy and the treatment of choice is the corticosteroids and this is what is about the temporal arteriitis. 